thank you for what you are doing right now in our lives. We glorify your holy name, Lord. The God that answered by fire. Today, you have already answered us by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are the Prince of Peace. Let your peace reign 24-7 in our lives. No matter what we are going through, Lord God Almighty, you are the way. You make a way where there is no way. Therefore, we are beyond you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, happy Women's Day. Amen. May you take your seats. Thank you. I just want to give a few words of encouragement. Because to be here, it was not easy. I believe some of us realize it. But as God has appointed us to be here, that is why we are here. Amen. The devil can try whatever he wants, but he will never, ever succeed. The wall of Jericho represents growing opportunities for us in our relationship with the Lord. We need that relationship with the Lord. Without him, we are nothing. If I can give an example of myself, during COVID, I was dying. But... I refuse to die. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, no matter what you see in your life, refuse it if it's not good. Proverb 18:21. The tongue has the power of life and death. Choose which one you want. Me, I choose not to die. Yeah. I told God, I didn't do much yet. So, I want to do more for you and your kingdom. Yeah. If you saw me, you could not believe that it was me. The devil wanted me dead. If that time I didn't know the Lord, yeah, you could come. But now, mm -mm. the doctor that came to treat me, he looked at me. I, I told him, doctor, don't worry, I'm not going to die. you see me again. And he went out. This is my son that escorted him. He said to him, you know what? I just did what I could do. To me... She was already dead. But remaining one, it's with God. And when he came the next day, he saw a change. He said to me, <laughs> Praise the Lord. He said to me, You have faith, eh? I said, I told you that you come back, you find me here. Didn't you find me? So he put the drips and he left. When he left, maybe one hour after, the drips was not going through, but the blood was coming out. I said to my son, uh, I call him. I said, come, take it off. He said to me, no, mommy, let us call the doctor. I said, before you to... Call the doctor. Take it off. Thank you. And he took it off. And he called the doctor. The doctor came. The doctor said, I don't know what's wrong with this woman. I said to the doctor, nothing is wrong with me. My heart is with Jesus. So, who do I fear? Which wizard or God? He said, ah, I can see. When he was putting it back, he was struggling. Then I heard a voice telling me, um, tell him to change the pipe. I said, doctor, please change the pipe. He took off that pipe, he changed the pipe. Now, it was, the drip was going through. He looked at me again, quietly. So, I said, doctor, thank you for what you have done. And from now on, I'm running with the spirit of God. He said to me, Amen. He left. From there, I was strong. I was, I could do what I could not do before. I thank God day by day. Because that doctor said to me, I want to tell all my friends, because he works by uh, Barra. 
Bagonat, about you, about your faith. I, I said, doctor, you can take part of my faith. Go and treat your people. <laughs> As we were marching, we were learning how to strengthen our faith, how to follow Jesus' command to love and serve others, and understand how love casts out fear. When we come to church, we don't want to be me, 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 me. We must save others. Give our love to others. So they can feel they are also important in the church. Not someone is coming. He had a lot of problems at home. He fought with the husband before, him to, before her to come to church. And he reached to church. People are gossiping about her. How many people came to me? Mommy, did you see that one? She was gossiping about him. I said, baby, don't worry about that. Whatever you sow, you will reap it. Let her sow gossiping. She will also reap gossiping. We must be kind enough to help others and give them our attention so they can be also happy. At least. Some of you, when you came for first, if I see a new person, I like to greet. Some of you, I never greeted you, sorry. Don't take it in your heart. We need to love people, not with our lips, but with our heart. Amen. Say this after me. From today, From today. Father, Father, help me, help me. To, love to love people, not with my lips, with my lips. But, with my but with my heart. Therefore, Therefore I, want I want to be with you, Lord. Can you please put for me Hebrew 11, verse 6? Let us all read it. And with that faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Amen. Without faith, we can't please God. It needs to be put into action for it to come alive. Without faith, we don't have a spiritual senses and feelings. The Israelites, by asking God what to do, did what he told them to do. That was a perfect example. Faith is spiritual and can only be understood in a spiritual realm. Faith is the ability to believe God, who is the spirit. That is why the Bible in Philippians 2 verse 13. For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill the, his good purpose. Amen. There are things that God wants us to do and obstacles that need, to, need defeating in our lives so we can become powerful Christians who can change the world for Jesus. Are you sure you can change the world for Jesus? Amen. So what does the world symbolize in the Bible? Walls can be seen as a source of imprisonment and division. They are often referred to as things we need to break down and overcome. We know all of us, we have problems in our lives, no matter who you are. Somewhere, somehow, you have problems. You know what I do when I have problems? Sometimes I just put songs like those two songs that we heard, we heard today, yeah. it's among my favorite songs. When I put it, I'm listening to it, and I fell in love with it, then I forget whatever I had in my mind. Then, a few hours later, I feel peace. Then I say, thank you, Jesus, at least. Some people, they think that I don't have problems. I have it. But you see me always smiling. 
Because I don't want to give the devil a legal right to work on me. Never. Never. Deuteronomy 9, verse 3. But be assured today that the Lord your God is the one who goes across ahead of you like a devouring fire. He will destroy them. He will subdue them before you. And you drive them out and annihilate them quickly as the Lord has promised you. He has done it already. Amen. He has done it already. Amen. He has done it already. Amen. So this side, you don't want to get it, you see? Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. I'm very, very happy. Because that demon that fought us, he misses us. Yeah. We are not losers. Yeah. I am a winner. I am not, not a loser. I am a winner. 